the Undisputed Elite come out for a promo, complete with a brand new t-shirt, which they are frantically plugging on AEWshop.com. Hopefully they sold a bunch of t-shirts in the next two minutes, because Adam Cole starts to talk about chemistry and talent and loyalty, how loyalty is power, loyalty is success, loyalty is everything, which brings him to the trios tournament. He is not medically cleared to compete. Kyle O'Reilly is not medically, medically cleared to compete. And Young Bucks, you won't team with Bobby Fish. There's a giant fucking spider right there. Hmm? Look over by... Uh... I think it's the same thing. Jesus Christ. Not that big. Keep going. That's a spider. That's a big... I can see it. It's, it's eight feet away. I can see it. Run, spider! Dude, spiders eat bugs. They make, they make the world a better place by eating insects. You know, it's dead. Well, he's gonna... He didn't make it. The spider went. The spider went to a farm to live on a happy, happy, uh, high insect diet for the rest of his days. So, Adam Cole is talking about chemistry and talent and loyalty and fighting alongside your brothers no matter what. He says loyalty is power. Loyalty is success. Loyalty is everything. Which brings him to the trios tournament. He is not cleared. Kyle is not cleared. And the Bucks, you won't team with Bobby Fish. He says so. You can't be in this trios tournament. And they're confused. And they're like, sure, we'll team with Bobby Fish. But Cole clarifies, it's not that you won't, it's that you won't be physically able. And Red Dragon attacks, they lay out the Bucks, they lay out Brandon Cutler. We cut to a five-year-old in the crowd who's crying, apparently love this heel faction of the Undisputed Elite, and now they're all fighting. Out comes Hangman Page with a steel pipe and butterflies on his jeans. Ridiculous to make the save. And uh, he chases all the heels away, which is the Undisputed Era. And uh, he helps up Matt Jackson, but then he leaves. And, like, this is good, but, God, it was a lot of stuff. We had a reunion, a betrayal. Oh, bro, I don't want to hear any negatives about this. And this another awesome. reunion in five minutes. Bro, listen, first off, first off, it wasn't a reunion when they all came out together. There had been injuries and that sort of thing. They hadn't been off TV that long. By the way, I gently uh, deposited the spider in a, in a little bed outside. That's very sweet of you. I didn't kill it. Yeah, good. Anyway, so they came back here, and uh, the shirt's now vintage. It is. So it's, it's actually a, probably more valuable. It's a throwback. It is a throwback. So uh, Adam Cole's promo was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, as soon as he started talking about, as soon as he mentioned the trios tournament, the crowd went quiet because they all of a sudden realized there's five blokes in the ring. Mm. And then Adam Cole notes that two of them are injured. And, I mean, he didn't even give the Bucks a choice. He was like, you guys aren't choosing Bobby Fish. Yeah. Poor Bobby Fish. So then they turn on him, and, yeah, that kid's crying. But uh, for those of you concerned about the kid, the kid immediately was not crying when Hangman ran out. Big fan of the Hangman, apparently. All right, then. So he was happy as could be when this segment was over. But uh, Hangman ran down, and, uh, and he helped clear the ring. And it's very interesting. I loved this segment, by the way. I loved Cole. I loved the setup for the turn. I loved the actual turn. I loved Hangman coming down and getting this monster reaction. I loved that they did the handshake. And in fact, I loved that after the handshake, Hangman turns his back and just leaves. They did not stay in the ring together. So now, there's so much shit that they can do. Because at any time... Kenny Omega is returning. So, who's teaming with who? Mm -hmm. The Bucks are going to have to make a choice. Are they going to team with Hangman? Are they going to team with Kenny Omega? They're this close to reuniting with the Hangman. A full, like, we're all buddies and we're going to go for these six-man titles. Kenny's going to get in the middle of it. Who are they going to choose? Depends on how long they want to drag this thing out. They could make the choice to go with Omega, and Hangman's been shunned. And he has to get two partners. And, man, they could even beat the Bucks and Omega and win the six-man titles. And the Bucks realize they made the wrong choice. There's so many things that you could do with this storyline here. And they left it just open-ended enough that you can think about it and try and figure out where they're going to go. I thought this segment was awesome. Rusty. Rusty Rose, 10 4 <laughs> Dusty. Is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's, uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. <laughs> Harmon <and> Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. Way back then, they had cha chain barricades. 
and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys, and so that was that. I'm just who <laughs> who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.